So I've built over 100 Kohen level websites for my clients. And in this video, I'm going to show you the nine tools that I use behind the scenes to make sure all the websites look insane. And this is stuff that nobody talks about. Putting all these tools together is how we build insane websites. I'm going to show you one by one. So this is the nine tools to build go ahead level websites like a pro. Let's just go through them one by one. And the first one we use is for finding fonts. And so if you're ever on a website and you find a really cool font and you're like, oh, I would love to use this for one of my clients. Or I want to use this for one of my own websites, but you just don't know what type of font it is. There's actually a tool we use to find out. And so the tool you're going to use is font finder. So if you go on Google Chrome, type Google Chrome extension font finder. And you're going to download this Chrome extension, add it to your Google Chrome. And so when you're in a website that you really like the font, we can actually find out what it is. And so how it works is I have it right here. I'm going to click on it and you're going to hover on the actual text you want to find out. Click on it and it's going to tell you the colors. It's going to give you the code right here. And it's also going to tell you the family and the font. So financier display, that's the font they're using. Here's the colors and here's the font weight. 300 so very useful very cool now let me show you with a different example let's say you wanted to find out this one right here so let's just go again click on it and it's going to tell us that they're using fk grotesque and so awesome tool and i think font is one of those things that makes your website kind of come together so if you have a really bad font a very generic go ahead level font then you can just find some inspiration and take that font use it for your go ahead level websites that's how we do it with our own clients that's how we do it for our own go ahead level websites as well now the next one up is with colors colors is a huge thing for websites i see a lot of go ahead websites that have terrible colors colors that don't make sense next to each other and so a tool we like to use is coolers.co and when you go to coolers.co just click start the generator it's going to start generating colors for you it's going to give you inspiration different colors but how we like to use this tool is we usually just have four colors for each website. So typically it'd be like just a basic color, a background color, an accent color, and then the color of the branding, something that makes it pop. And so what I would do is just pick like the background color. Let's just say we're gonna go with black. Then I would pick a little bit something lighter. Then I would pick the accent color. Let's just say I wanted to generate this one right here. Let's just say it was like a blue. So it's gonna give us a hex code. And then let's say you wanted to do something similar to this one, but just lighter. I'll just copy paste the hex code right here and then I'll just find a lighter tone right here. And so that's just a quick example. Of course, these colors are not great, but coolers.co does help us visualize the website. How it's going to look. Are the colors going to make sense next to each other? And so this website is awesome for that. You can play around different colors. It's going to give you the hex code, which you can just copy paste into go high level. Now, another tool within coolers.co that is really cool is the contrast checker. So this is going to help you out. Find out if two fonts work well together, just so you can create that contrast, make it easier for somebody to read the text. I see a lot of Goyla websites is really hard to consume them because there's not enough contrast. So what this is going to do is give you a score. So this is very good. Like these two colors, you can clearly read it. It's easy to understand. But if we have different colors, let's say like these two, it's just really hard to look at it. It has a terrible, very poor score, and it's going to help you out picking those two colors. When you think about the background against the text. Now, let's just do a different example, something more like this right here. You can see the contrast is much higher, and so it's much easier to read the text. So here we have a super score. So these two tools, four colors are amazing. Okay, now the next one, which is very important, is graphic design. And so I'm going to show you how we do this. For this, we use Photoshop. So here's an example of one of the graphics that we've used very recently. One of our websites are creating Go ahead Level, our AI SaaS website. And as you can see, there's multiple layers and it all comes together to create a really beautiful graphic that is going to make sense with the website. And I see a lot of websites on Go ahead Level and they might have the right structure, the right layout, and they might have the right content. But a lot of times their graphic design doesn't make sense. And so it just brings their whole website down. And so here's another example, one of the graphics that we created in Photoshop. There's multiple layers, as you can see, but when we put all of these together, it looks amazing. So having good graphic design is going to elevate your website to the next level. And that's how we do it with Photoshop. Up next is how do we find website inspiration? And so a lot of times we're trying to help clients and they don't have a vision for the website. But what can help us is find good website inspiration. So we can take all of that inspiration and create a really good website for our clients. And so there's two websites that we usually go to. The first one is dribble.com. You can browse, they have tons of inspiration, different fonts, colors, styles. You can go to the explore and you can do web design, animation, branding, illustration. And it's gonna give you tons of ideas for your websites that you can then take 
and create your own version of that. And so if you're ever stuck, you feel like you need a bit of inspiration, you need ideas for a layout, you can just go to Dribble, and it's gonna be like an awesome way for you to get new ideas for your websites. I've actually used this for a lot of our clients. They don't know kind of what they're looking for, and just by finding some inspiration, helping them out, then we can craft a really good website in Go High Level. Now, the second one that we use is Site Inspire, and so these guys are kind of similar to Dribble, but you can just see like different websites and they have different sections here as well, like category styles, types. So if you're looking for like e-commerce specifically, they're gonna give you tons of e-commerce only websites. If you're looking for ideas for design and art, if you have an artistic client, design, or if you're just looking for like minimal type of websites, they have tons of minimal websites right here. You can just browse through it and it's gonna give you tons of inspiration for your next website. Up next is mockups. A lot of times we wanna showcase a final version of our websites to our clients in a very professional way. So we found this website called ls.graphics and some of the graphics are paid, but some of them are actually free. And so you can just download mockups and what you're gonna do is just swap the photo with the website so you can showcase it to your clients. And I'm gonna show you an example in just a second. We can browse them, they have different devices, desktop, mobile, laptop, and I'm gonna show you one example. And so what this looks like is you're gonna download the PSD file, which is just a Photoshop file. And what it's gonna look like is gonna be a Photoshop file, which you can change this photo and then show this to your clients. Now I'm gonna show you this one right here because I think it looks kind of cool. So it looks like an actual real somebody holding a phone. And what we're gonna do is swap this photo right here. And the way they've done that is very easy. All you're gonna do is just double click here and select that layer, it's gonna open up a separate tab and we're gonna replace that with the new photo with our actual website so that we can showcase this to our client. What I'm gonna do is add this photo right here and so I'm gonna hit done and what I'm gonna do is hit save. So that's gonna lock it in, I'm gonna close this layer and as you can see, now it looks like a real mock-up, looks amazing and it looks really cool. This is one of our actual websites, our AI Lite and it looks awesome. So if we wanted to showcase this to a client, a mock-up version, this is what it would look like, especially if you're doing branding for your clients, that kind of stuff. I think this would come in very handy. Now, let me show you a different example. So I'm gonna double click this layer one more time and I'm gonna swap this for my dark version so you can see how cool this is. So I'm just gonna drag and drop, slide it in, hit done, and I'm gonna hit save. That's gonna lock in that layer. I'm gonna close this and there we go. So completely different, it looks really cool, it looks real. And so they can kind of see the website, what it would look like in real life. And that's kind of what I would do. So two examples right there. Super easy, very quick, and that was all done through LS Graphics. That's the next tool if you wanna find cool mockups for your websites. Now the next tool that we use is a tool that we use pretty much on every one of our websites. And this is how we add custom effects so that they look really clean. This is how we add this cool effect the effects on the buttons, kind of these animations right here when you hover, this is all done with custom effects on go ahead level. And so I'll show you another, some examples right here. So like these are custom effects, this rotating banner as well. This is all done with that tool that I'm gonna show you, which is a Notion doc that has step-by-step -step tutorials. We add code to websites and then it just takes them to the next level. But this is another effect right here. And if we go to pricing, we have this really cool glow gradient effect. This was all done with the same tool. And the tool we used is this Notion doc, which is just a series of tutorials. And each tutorial shows you how to add a custom effect to your going level websites. So for instance, this one right here, how to make your images bigger when you hover over them. And so this is custom. We did this and there's a tutorial that we added. It has a custom code. You add it to the website and it's just gonna take your websites to the next level. So to show you an example, Let's just go to the Go Hello website editor. I'm gonna show you this live. So for instance, let's say I wanted to add that effect to this website. This is just a website that I built a while back for one of my other videos. But let's say I wanted to make it so that when I hover on each of the photos, they zoom in. Then what I'm gonna do is go back to my Notion doc and I'm gonna follow this step by step. So let's just go through it as an example. So what I'm gonna do is step one, I'm gonna click on the custom CSS and I'm gonna copy this code right here. So I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to my custom CSS. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna animate these photos. So step one is gonna go custom CSS. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and I'm gonna add this code right here. And so this is the code we just added. There we go. I'm gonna hit save. Now step two is gonna be adding the tag on the photos. And so I'm gonna copy this tag right here, image style one. I'm gonna go back to my website. I'm gonna click on each photo and under styles, I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna enter the custom class. There we go. 
Now the next one, I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to do this for all of them. I'm going to hit save and now let's preview this and see what it looks like. So I'm going to hit refresh right here. And so this is what the effect looks like. So it looks really cool, very clean. As you hover on the photos, they animate. And this is what we do for all of our GoHead level websites. This is what takes a website from looking good, average, to looking amazing and having good user experience. And so as you can see, it looks amazing. It took me like a couple clicks, copy, paste, and it's all done. Now, this is one of the simplest tutorials that we have, but I just wanted to show you kind of an example of what the Notion doc looks like in real life with the GoHead level websites. The next tool that we use is how do we get icons for our websites? And this is with a website called Flat Icon. So if you go on Google, just tap Flat Icon, click on it. And let's just say you needed an arrow or something like that. Like let's just do arrow real quick so I can show you what it looks like. They give you tons of arrows. You click on it, you can download it as a PNG and just add it as a photo to your Google level websites. Now let's say you needed like stars. Like let's say you're doing like a section about reviews. I don't know. You could just do star and add like a quick star right here. Let's say you like this one, download it as a PNG add it to your Google websites. And this is where we find a lot of our icons is just from flaticon.com. Very helpful tool. And not a lot of people talk about how to get icons for your website. So here you go. Now, the next one that we use a lot of times is clients reach out to us. They want a website, but they don't have good photos. And this is going to bring the website quality down. So what we do is we go to unsplash.com. This is one of the places we find good photos from. And we just download the stock photos. So let's say you're building a website for the real estate niche. So I'm just going to do real estate. I'm going to hit search. They have tons of good photos that you can download. Now, the other place, if you don't find good photos in unsplash is pexels.com. So same thing. Let's just do real estate. And they have tons of photos that we can choose from. And so this is like some of the photos like real estate, houses, kind of neighborhoods, that kind of stuff. But you can search any type of photo and you're most likely going to find one from either of these two websites, pexels.com or unsplash.com. And the final tool that we like to use is Lighthouse, which tells us about the performance of a website. This is very useful. But at the very end, once you've built a website, I'm going to show you a real example. This is an actual website that I have, my store, where I send my templates, my products, all that stuff. But I'm going to show you something cool. So I do right click. I'm going to hit inspect. I'm going to go over to Lighthouse and this is going to give us the performance of the website. It's going to analyze the website and it's going to give us some cool insights. So let's just give it a try. Okay, so we have 100% for SEO, 100% for best practices, accessibility 87, performance 98. So the website is looking pretty good, but if you click on accessibility, it's going to give you insights as to how to make it more accessible. So it's awesome for that. And if your score for SEO is low, you can click on it. It's going to give you insights for that. And so it's just an awesome way to see once you've built the website, how does it actually perform? How does it load? What's the speed? What's the performance? Is it accessible? Does it have good SEO? All those key data points that you might not know, but it's useful to check it out at the very end once you've built the website and tweak it and make it better. And so there it is. That's the nine tools that we use to build insane websites in Go Ahead Level. And if you want to add really cool effects like the ones I showed you in this video to your Go Ahead Level websites, just click the link in bio and you can get my Notion doc, which has over 30 tutorials step-by-step and step how you can add amazing effects to your go-ahead level websites.